cool. This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined by Bryce Hall. It's been a while since the last seen you, Bryce. Yeah. I think the last time I saw you all in person was the, the Prime card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The How you been since then, man? It's oh, been a while. Been great, great. Uh, I'm up another 20 pounds since then. So what are you weighing now? <laughs> like 195-ish. It's a little bit heavy. That's almost, that's almost 200 pounds, which is the Misfits heavyweight. Oh, dude, I should be in the heavyweight <laughs> division. <laughs> imagine, yeah. all the, imagine all the people you could piss off in saying, yeah, I'm the heavyweight champ. Or you could say, I'm a heavyweight boxer. Who's, who's like the heavyweight division? Like, who's in that? The champ is Tempo Arts. He's uh, a champion. He He's like 220. 220? All right, Temper, I'm coming for Tempo. you. Tempo. Tempo? Tempo, yeah. Coming for your ass. I'm coming on your ass. <laughs> he'll be very, uh, uh, wait, he'll be very happy when he sees I, it. I didn't mean, I didn't mean um, that I'm going to, like, ejaculate on your ass. I meant, like, I'm going to, I'm, I'm coming for that heavyweight belt. That's there what I we learn how to cut a promo. I'll make sure to bleep a few things so we don't get demonetized here. Um, let's talk about this event, though. You've come down to Nashville. You were here the last Nashville one, I think, weren't you? Yeah, I was. You're a big fan of Nashville. Dude, I love the... I, last time I was here, I was in camp, so I didn't even drink or anything. Right. So this time, I'm getting after it. <laughs> we'll be seeing you at the art party then. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, I probably won't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be there early, getting the early bird tickets. Um, let's talk about this then. I've heard rumors you've been calling Taylor Holder out for a bare knuckle fight. Okay. He confirmed, deny. Where do we stand by this? Okay, I, I will say, never once have I called this guy out. Yeah, I am just always responding to this dude for the stupid shit that he says about me. There's not a single thing in the world that would make me afraid of this Taylor Holder guy. And if he wants to fight so bad, I, the, the main reason I didn't want to fight him was because he was going to get paid for fighting me. I didn't want him to get any money. Bare knuckle, BKFC, will send him a contract for zero dollars. He signs that shit. We can run it on bare knuckle. So he wouldn't be getting paid, though? Yeah, no, zero dollars. So what would be his, his temptation to take the fight, then, against you in bare knuckle, one of the, probably the most ruthless version of combat sport, for zero pounds or dollars? Well, he tweeted that he would donate all his money to charity. Let's just say, fuck that, we'll just do the donations ourselves, and uh, we'll just give him a contract for zero dollars if he wants to fight that bad. So there'd be no chance you could fight on Misfits in boxing or bare knuckle on Misfits or anything like that? Bare knuckle boxing on Misfits. I got to stick with my baby BKFC. Oh, you, you're, you're signing with them, aren't you? Yeah, I got to stick with BKFC. But Misfits, I don't want to fight fucking Taylor Holder on Misfits. I want to fight like a Deji or a Winderson Nunes, like somebody that I actually respect. I heard rumors that you're going to fight Winderson, but they kind of fizzled out now. Yeah. They were popping for a little bit of time. Yeah, we were, we were supposed to fight. I don't know what happened with that. Brad. <clears throat> <laughs> we'll move the camera a little bit closer. Yeah, like show, show Brad, though. He's just sitting there like... Brad likes like, to stay off camera, which, which I quite like. Managers always, when managers don't want to be on camera, you know they're, a, you know they're definitely a good manager. Um, let's go this card, though, this national card. What fight are you most looking forward to out of all of them? Um, probably the Modine and Vitaly mm. one. Uh, there's real crazy lead up for that one. I don't think it's going to be the most technical or even, but I think it's going to be entertaining to watch. And then second, I'd say Fox the G versus Evil, what is it? Most Evil. Most Evil. Most evil. Both of those guys. Would you ever do a tag team match? Yeah, dude. I'd, I'd love to do like me and Mike Perry versus two people. <laughs> you and Mike Perry. <laughs> what, and Ben Knuckle? No, no, no. Me and Mike Perry on Misfits tag team against two, two other guys. Too. It'd have to be another influencer. Uh, who, Brad? Be one influencer and then one bare knuckle, or like one legitimate fighter. Can you think of anyone? No. I mean, anyone that signs a contract against Mike Perry is basically just signing a death <laughs> wish. But that's why I want him as my partner and not to go against him. Your partner in crime, as it were. Yeah. It sounds sounds certainly quite good. Um, what do you make of Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? It's typical Jake. <laughs> You'll be watching, I suppose. I will definitely be watching, but you know. 60 year old <laughs> he wins bro i'm gonna have to oh dude this is gonna be so controversial i think i think jake's winning right well that's what everyone said who i've talked to to be fair this yeah. past week he's a younger guy quicker guy i guess if it's two minute three two minute rounds you could probably go a mic but it'll be like four or five minute rounds no, no sorry three minute rounds for, for five of them so yeah it'll kind of drag it out the first round mike have a mic mike might have a little bit of edge but then I guess the longer it goes, yeah. Jake's really got it, to be fair. Yeah, so I'm putting my money on Jake Paul. You're Dude, a bit... What, what kind of fucking... What kind of world are we living in where I'm putting money on Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? <laughs> and probably going to make money. You're not losing money on Jake. You're making, making quite a lot of money. Are you betting anything? You're a big gambler now, though. I've seen you be hanging out with uh, Sean Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I met Sean Perry when I was in Vegas last. Yeah, I'm going to throw some money on these fights, too. Uh, definitely putting my money on Fox G. 
Um, probably put my money on Vitaly. And then I'm probably going to do it like a parlay with uh, who's, who's the guy that Taylor Holder's fighting? Uh, DWG Earth. Earth is my third uh, pick, too. Uh, right. Yeah, that's my third pick. So, like, it's going to be a massive parlay. On Kurgo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you expect anything, any commotion happening tomorrow night? I think we're in the arena now, but between you and Taylor, if anything's do get clashing? Um, I mean, what's the point of me starting anything? I'm always just responding. So it's like every time I walk into a building and Taylor Holder is present, he always keeps his head down like a little puppy dog, and then I just walk by with my chin Because Taylor Holt told me the opposite. Taylor told me that you were like, Taylor, nice to meet you. My name's Bryce. And, he, and you, picked up, you picked up the chair and you walked away. Apparently. What? I'm messing around, I'm messing around. <laughs> no, but Taylor told me the story of where you just went up to him, he passed that chair, bro, and that was it. That's not the last time you were in Nashville. You Man, asked him to pass you your chair. He remembers uh, that little of a significant moment. <laughs> I guess so, I guess so. Yeah, no, um, shit, if that was, I, maybe that happened, I have no idea. I don't really remember insignific insignificant events like that, mm. passing a chair. <laughs> A big moment. Stoney was a big moment. It was yeah, caught on camera. Yeah, for him. If it was on TikTok, it would be a big moment for sure. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. Though, I guess one of the reasons kind of you're so popular now is a, winning the bare knuckle fight, and b the way you, you do your, your sarcastic TikToks, taking the piss out of a lot of people. Yeah. What can we expect coming up on the TikTok front? Um, just gonna continue with my sarcastic humor. If people don't like it, fuck off. Uh, that was also sarcastic. What's it like watching all your old dances? Uh, fuck off, dude. Why'd you even... We, hey, <laughs> we don't talk about those. We don't talk good about footwork. That's why you gave him such a good bare-knuckle boxer. Dude, because be of honest, the footwork. I think it was like the Renegade, where it was like... You know, I think... Moving your head, moving your feet at the same time. Like the hand-eye hand coordination. Head movement, exactly. Mm. That's why his TikTok dancers are boxers now. <laughs> That's true, actually. Most of the TikTokers have transitioned over. Um, just a few more things before I let you go. Do you reckon KSI will come back to the boxing scene? Probably not. You don't think so? No. I don't think so. You don't think we'll get the, the Jake Paul care sci-fi ever? No, I, I don't think so. Why not? I, I just don't think either of them... I think, I think KSI doesn't want to take that chance. Really? So you think it's more on KSI's front rather than Jake's? Yeah. Do you reckon Logan Paul will come back or is he fully fledged into Bro, WWE? KSI, KSI and Logan are going to be so rich off of Prime. It's like they don't even <laughs> need to do boxing anymore. So it's like understandable. Mm. Do you like Prime? I have never really tasted it. Really? I've never After all this time, you never had a bottle? I have not even had a bottle, no. Wow, okay. That's impressive, <laughs> to be fair. That is very impressive. I've had, the, I've had the energy drink, though. Okay. I must say, that one was, like, okay. Right, okay. Yeah. I forget which color it was, though. Do you reckon... I know, I only drink bucked <laughs> up, but, like, I, I remember there was only, like, a prime energy, like, in the fridge, so I was just like, fuck it. I was at my boy's house, <laughs> drank it, and I, I got amped up. It worked, it worked. Bro, I'm really hot in here. I'm sweating. I don't know how you're... An Essentials hoodie. You're not really warm. Bro, Essentials hoodie, Chrome Hearts, Travis's. Come on, dude. I'm fitted. Red Nike sweatshirt, 30 bucks. Jeans. I don't know where I got these from. And these were, I think, 80 bucks. Yeah, dude, that's nice. I know. Where'd you get these from? Uh, they look quite, they're quite nice, actually, to be fair. Yeah, they're uh, Travis Scott's. I have, oh, wow. I have no idea how much these were. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. It was actually Brad that... Yeah, Brad got me these for my birthday. Oh, I can imagine they look quite spendy. But anyway, Bryce. Thank you very much. Peace out.